Desport and Botox essentially both work the same way. What's the difference between these two products? The main difference is Desport is a slightly smaller molecule. It diffuses a little faster, so we see the onset of action a little faster with Desport. They both seem to last about the same time. We don't have any science to suggest that one lasts longer than the other. Primarily, I use Desport because the onset of action is quicker. Probably about 80% of our patients prefer Desport, but we use both agents. These are used mainly for what we call dynamic lines. There are lines and creases on our face that are formed by facial expression. For example, as I look out in the crowd here, um, if you're lifting your forehead, you tend to get horizontal lines across the forehead. If you're concentrating hard or frowning, you get vertical lines between the brows. And with smiling, uh, a lot of our tennis players are out there in the sun squinting or smiling, get the crow's feet at the corner. Those are the three common areas. We also will use it in the upper lip for some of the vertical lip lines that are caused by pursing of the lips. So that can work well there. Um, sometimes we use it on the chin for modeling of the chin where we can get some irregular mar mar uh, marbling of the chin that occurs sometimes with aging because of the muscle causes that to the overlying skin. And sometimes we'll get bands in the neck which we will treat as well. So there's a number of areas that can be treated with Botox or Desport to temporarily improve the skin. And here's a pretty classic example. Typical frown line between the brows. These are muscles that cause the brows to come down and in, creating these creases. You see it also brings the brow down. It depresses the brow. So when you use this agent, inject into this area, it weakens those muscles, which lifts the brow and smooths out those furrows. And you can see in this picture how much nicer it looks to take away those frown lines. Another example of frown lines, quite, more, quite dramatic. Not only is she frowning, but the brow is pulled way down, and with the treatment, the brow is lifted and smoothed. Third example, a really heavy, droopy brow. We sometimes call this a chemical brow lift because you can actually lift the brow using Botox just around these areas. Weakening these muscles that pull the brow down allows the, allows the brow to lift up. You can see what a big difference it makes between her pre-treatment and post-treatment, how much higher her brow is there. It's not a surgical brow lift, that's just injectables. And uh, gentlemen as well with the frown lines and then after treatment.